here somewhere. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch! <coughs> Tiara, may I say something? I completely understand your situation, but we need to speak with Fang first. Excuse me? We know what he used to be like, and the Fang we knew would never be so eager to support such evil deeds. Lord Sherman! Until we get a chance to talk to him and figure out his true intentions, could you please refrain from attacking him? Why should I? Are you some kind of idiot? Very well. Then I'm afraid I'll have to bill you for the cost of the inn and your meals. In which case... Yes, understood. I'll do exactly what you say. This version of Tiara really does act exactly like Fang. Now then, let's go. We have to get Fang to join us, no matter what it takes. In this? I'm going to smash your faces I'll in. do my best. Brace yourself. Next. Who am I fighting? Huh? Prepare Rest yourself, Seguro. Here I come. Get Rest ready, Chewie. Rest in hell. Let's just keep going already. Much stronger. So cold. Seriously. If I knew it was going to be like this, I would have put on a few more layers. Ah! Tiara! What's wrong? It, it was nothing. Uh, ain't nothing wrong, jerk. Just something hanging from the ceiling, that's all. Tiara, you're not forcing yourself to talk like that, are you? That's simply a stupid. Don't be stupid, dumbass. I'm going to go on ahead and check things out. It's like how Ethel would just say kill all the time. Kill, kill, kill! I told you not to bring that up, you dumb, ugly hag! Is what Ethel just said. Oh, sorry. Hup! 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 Can I open this? Can I open this? According to our information, Fang should be around here somewhere. <laughs> I can't believe you guys just blindly wandered right in. Way to go, us! Well done! Goldo! Then, does that mean... That's right. You fell right into our trap. I heard you were all after the president, so I spread a little false information. Don't take any of this personal, but I have to ask you to come along quietly. See, bringing you all in and impressing the higher-ups is the best way for me to get some extra funding for my research. So, fate has played yet another trick on us. Just like Galdo. Harley is another member of Dorfa. No! How can this be happening? Brace yourselves! They're preparing to attack! Best day out of my way, Miss Professor! My line, Galdo the Useless. Bahas, let's go. Right. We have no choice but to fight back. Ryushin. Affirmative. Initiating combat mode. Here I come! Mess you up. I'll do my best. Let us begin. This will be quick. Let's make you this feel no pain. Who am I fighting? Huh? You're, You're not getting out of this. You trying to resist? Are you yourself? serious? Here we go. Here I come! Execute. Bathe in the light of hope! Stand in my way, and you will no go! go. Here 
here I come! Executing uh -huh. bullets. How's this? Brace yourself. Ready Dust at once. Dust. You will never claim my soul. I still have far to go. Uh, this was not in my calculations. Even the two of us together got our butts handed to us. Damn it! Now that we know this was just a trap, there's no need to linger. This is our chance to escape. Everyone, follow me! I think we managed to lose them. First Galdo. Now Harley. I can't take this anymore. I don't want to fight our friends. I'd like to convince them to join us eventually. But making contact with Fang is our top priority. But where could he be? Ah, that idiotic Paiga. You can't do this. You can't do that. Who does he think I am? <sighs> uh, who are you guys? I found you, bastard! Kitty! What, what the hell? This is no good. Everyone, hold Tiara back! I'll try and talk to him. Uh, okay! Tiara, hold still. Let go of me! You damn little... I do apologize, but could I have a moment of your time? No! I'm a very busy man! I'm a company president, after all. I make a million gold a second. Wanna talk? Hand over a million gold. <sighs> then I suppose I may have to take some of your time by force. Aha, uh -huh, now I get it. Kidnappers, huh? When you're as important as me, people are always trying to get a ransom out of you. What the? Where'd all these people come from? I had my mercenaries hiding all over the place, just in case something like this happened. Hey, come on! Whatever else has happened, you're still a fencer, right? You're not gonna fight your own battles? Of course not! I'm a company president, after all. If my subordinates can't handle it, I just buy my way out of stuff. That's how you do it. You're awful. It is not an unreasonable approach, however. Okay, well, see ya. Get back here! Fang! You ain't taking another step! Come on, everyone! We gotta protect Master Fang! You will receive no mercy. I'll do my best. Let us begin. Dust to dust. Splendid. New power! There he is! Over there! Huh? They lost? Jeez, it's hard to find good mercenaries these days. Fang, please listen to us. How did you even wind up working for Dorfa in the first place? Oh, well, I, I was in town and I guess they just decided to recruit me. Something about having presidential qualities. I'm honestly shocked you actually believe them. Honestly, I kind of lost all my memories at the time. I was starving, but I didn't have any money. They offered to buy me lunch. So they bribed you with food. I should have guessed. Just a second. Did you say you lost all your memories? I'm done talking. I should charge you at least 50 million gold for interrupting my walk. But I'm gonna let that slide this time. Did you call for us, Master Fang? Yeah, these guys are trying to kidnap me. Did you go ahead and beat the crap out of them? What? You still have more? I'm a company president. Money flows like water for me. Hiring new mercenaries while I'm running away is easy. See you jerks in hell. What a detestable human being. But now we have a sliver of hope. If he's lost his memory, then perhaps... Now ain't the time for talking. They're coming at us. All right, come on, let's do this. Kill them all. My turn. Brace yourself. Next. Splendid. You're still following me? God, you're persistent. If you need money so bad, get a job. Stop trying to get everything the easy way. It's not like you actually do work either. I don't have to. I'm the president which basically makes me God. I bring happiness to my employees just by existing. Thanks, group. Oh, 
great. He hired even more. Yeah, and I went through my entire budget thanks to you guys. Now I'll have to cut everyone's salaries by 50% next month. You're the worst god ever! A god has many roles. Sometimes he must present his subjects with obstacles to overcome. Such a salary cut would cause a drastic drop in employee satisfaction and motivation. It's a very illogical management strategy. Hey, hey, hey! Don't you even think about laying a finger on Master Fei! Make sure you beat the snot out of them, okay? I want to make sure they never tried to pull a kidnapping stunt like this again. Well, at least now we know what a disaster it would be to let Fang handle any amount of money. Indeed. But now we have to focus on dealing with his mercenaries. Is everyone ready? Yeah. Let's get him! I'll fight. I'll do my best. Let us begin. Next. My sword is my sword. What the hell is with you people? Damn it! Okay, time for the next group. Your card cannot be used at this time. You have exceeded your credit limit. I got you bastard! I told them the platinum card wouldn't be enough! Just how much money have you spent on this already? It would appear you've run out of pawns. Now listen to us. I tell I'm gonna listen to you. You just wait right there while I go get another card. You're still gonna try and run away? After him. He can't make it very far. What should we do? They're gonna get away! Now, now, no need to panic. Being the genius that I am, I predicted that this might happen. Bahas, time to go to plan B. Could you get everything ready? You got it. Jeez, those guys were persistent. Mr. President, what did you do? I just got a call from the credit card company. They said you made several astonishingly large charges in a row. Shut up! This is all your fault, Paiga. If you'd gotten me that black card like I asked, I could have bought an entire army and smashed those assholes. But thanks to you cheaping out, I almost got abducted by some weird kidnapping cartel. No, 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 no. You've been spending far too much of our budget as it is. And thanks to that, Paiga's been getting it from every side. He's facing a huge demotion. <laughs> this is no laughing matter, Vivian. Mr. President, when making purchases, you must submit the proper forms to accounting first and get permission from the accounting VP. No way! That's super annoying! I'm the president, aren't I? The head of the company? The company's money is my money. I'll use it however I want! But now our budget's completely gone! Your reckless spending is leading to a financial landslide within the company! What? You know, for how big and powerful Dorfa acts, it sure doesn't seem to be all that great. So this is your hideout, huh? I hope you don't mind. We took the liberty of following you. Now let us continue our previous conversation. Who are you people? <sighs> Barging into someone's personal villa. Do you kidnappers have no shame? Paiga, take care of them. Huh? Me, me, me? But I'm not trained for combat. I'm just your assistant. Or maybe babysitter's more accurate. Shut up and do what I tell you. President's orders! Refuse me, and your next bonus is going straight into the Shari Jiro Research Fund. Please, no. Anything but that. We can't even sell the ones we have. They're all defective. Strengthen your resolve, Paiga. If you take action here, the President might actually take your advice later on. All right, then. <clears throat> Heed me, kidnappers. I am your opponent. Stand and fight me! Don't let his appearance fool you. He may not look it, but he's a skilled fencer. Underestimate him at your own peril. Got it. Traitors, Apollonius and Ethel. If I deal with you both here, maybe my standing will... Okay, here we go! Let's go, Seguro. My turn. Let us begin. Here I come! Here I go! Get out of my sight! It's my turn. Prepare yourself, Seguro. It's my turn. 
Let us begin. Here I come. I'll do my best. Here I go. It's freaking over. How this? For the sake of Dorfa. No, for the sake of my family. I can't lose! It's my turn. Let us begin. Here I come! Let's end it with this! I'll do my best. Oh, I'm sorry. Guess I was stronger, huh? <laughs> we need to run, Vivian! What? You're just going to leave the president behind? I don't care anymore. He's just a figurehead anyway. Frankly, I'll be happy when he's gone. Well, don't blame me if you get in trouble later. What? Pyga! You traitorous bastard! Now then, Fang. We can finally talk. What are you gonna do to me? Demanding a ransom is pointless, just so you know. I already used up all of Dorfa's money. Fang, please try to remember. You really have no memory of me? I, I have no idea who you are. Who are you people? Actually, I happen to work for one of Dorfa's rivals. I was hired to headhunt President Fang, who they tell me is quite skilled. Lord Sherman, what are you talking about? Quiet. He knows what he's doing. Dorfa is nothing compared to our company. Our budget would allow you to spend whatever you like, far more than you've spent here. In addition, if you become our president, every employee will worship you as a god and devote themselves to you completely. That's the dumbest lie I've ever heard. Who'd fall for something so stupid? Very well, then. I'll happily become your boss. Seriously? Dorf has been getting real stingy lately. I got no time for a company that complains that much about their budget. Just leave things to me. Perfect. Then let's go somewhere and discuss the details. Dorf's henchmen may arrive at any moment. But the girl's coming with me. I have a personal commitment to finishing my tasks, one at a time. Boys, is that Harley? This is bad. If they've got Tiara, then... Tiara? What the hell? I feel like my head's gonna split open. Fang, what are you doing? We have to go! Okay! Why did they take Tiara without making any move against the rest of us? Hmm. Oh. Well, it could have something to do with that whole thing about the one who inherited Vile God's blood and all that. Vile God? What are you talking about? Dorfa used this Vile God's power to get as strong as they are. But I guess he can't be controlled completely. To control him, they need someone with the Vile God's blood. Or something like that. I don't know. I heard about it from Vice President Bernard. So, my worst fears have come to pass. Lord Sherman? Before the Vile God changed the world, it dawned on me that Tiara was the one who inherited the Vile God's blood. Tiara? Are you sure about that? Yes. But once the Vile God was revived, the world changed. And everyone's personalities and situations changed along with it. 
Which is why I had some faint glimmer of hope that Tiara's fate, her connection to the Vile God's blood, may have changed as well. But if Dorfa wanted her back, then... Then it means, unfortunately, that the fate she carried within her did not change. Hey, um, what are you guys even saying? I don't understand any of this. Fang, where is the Vile God? You must know something. Huh? Oh, well, now that you mention it, maybe I do know something. What about it? Just tell us! If what Lord Sherman is saying is true, we're in big trouble! The Vile God is gonna take over the entire world! <laughs> if that happens, this whole situation right now will seem like a nice warm bath compared to how awful the world will become! Okay, okay, I get it! I, I can't breathe. I'll tell you whatever I can, just stop choking me! Oh, sorry! Okay, so, where's the Vile God? Uh, it's... It's some place called Stairway to Heaven. I guess he's at the top. Stairway to Heaven. Okay, let's get moving. Hopefully there's still time. We have to do whatever it takes to protect the world. It seems I was right to leave things in your hands. I expected no less. You honor me. Hopefully, such appreciation will be reflected in my research funding. I'll talk with accounting. You'll have access to as much of the budget as you please. That will be a huge help. I'm sure our research will make great strides. Um, I work pretty hard too, you know. Oh? I came up with the idea and provided the equipment needed to capture the girl. And uh, what did you do exactly? Um, well, you see... Right. I'd say the credit goes to me on this one. Learn your place, Galdo the Incompetent. Now, if you'll excuse me. Ugh. That... that bitch! Deputy President Mariana, I have terrible news! Haiga, what's the matter? I thought I told you to keep an eye on Fang. That's just it! Some group of weirdos have kidnapped the President and... Well, I guess he went willingly, but... I see. Um, so, what are your thoughts? I think we should try and get him back somehow, but you probably don't want to send me alone. Forget him. Huh? Forget him, I said. Now that we have Tiara, we have no use for him. But didn't we bring him in so we could keep an eye on him in case he regained his memories and started making trouble? You're right. I will take some measures just to be safe. Now is a good time to sweep away all who would stand before us. Galdo, I have a way for you to regain your good name. Follow me. I have a mission for you. Uh, uh, of course. Um, so what should I... For now, take some of that paid vacation time you've been saving up. I'll contact you if I need you. Paid vacation, huh? Maybe I'll finally take the family to that hot spring. Oh, why didn't you at least try and volunteer? You're never getting promoted at this rate. 